Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about the Application Programming Interface. Watch this video to build a better understanding of this useful and universal tool. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Application Programming Interface, API, defines the interactions between various software intermediaries. There are many different uses for API, and you don't need to be a developer or know anything about the backend website and app development to use API. Further, we will review different types of API as it pertains to specific industries and common uses. So, keep watching to know more about them. Firstly, you can use an API as an abstraction layer. Much like an abstraction layer, API often creates a more manageable format, even protecting information. API enables the backend facility to create an abstraction layer. The second use is integration through public APIs. Well, public API is a publicly available application programming interface that any developer can use to connect and share information through different services. Among the main benefits of integrating through public APIs, we define collaboration, which means that utilizing public APIs offers the opportunity for extensive collaboration, and stability, which means considering that the foundation of most public APIs was built by tech prodigies, it is safe to assume that your API functions will be stable. The third use case is web services APIs. Essentially, all web services are APIs, as they take a complex stream of code and present it in an organized and easy to understand manner. However, all APIs are not web services. So what do you think? Can the terms web service and API be interchangeable? Share your thoughts under the video. And are there different types of APIs? Yes. Watch further to review four main types of APIs in use, available and buildable, depending on the intended use. Among APIs types, we define open APIs. These APIs are available to the public. While they are secure, the mechanisms can be accessed, added, and changed by anyone. Internal APIs are only available to internal systems. To use this type of API, you need specific rights or licenses. Partner APIs are not publicly available, but like internal APIs, they are only available to certain groups of users through authentication mechanisms. Composite APIs combine different data and service APIs. This API type speeds up the process and enhances user interaction. For more information on what is best for API development, read our article with the comparison of GraphQL and REST. The link is in the description box. Let's give examples of APIs. The first is Java API. It is composed of elements that help developers establish everyday tasks while increasing productivity. The second is Twitter API. It lets third-party developers interact with available Twitter data and make alterations to the program. The third is DirectX. It is Microsoft's API for managing several tasks in multimedia, programming games, and publishing videos. DirectX is composed of the DirectDraw, Direct3D, DirectSound, DirectPlay, and DirectInput. API's role is considerable for many software development companies, which lets them extend capabilities on their web pages, reduce customer churn, and increase overall business value. And which type of API is the most relevant to your business? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of using application programming interface. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.